We are here to fight for, our for freedom, for justice, equity, and fairness. That's what we're fighting for. Nothing more, nothing less. And we cannot be cowed by anybody. We are without fear before our enemies. And we speak the truth always. I want all the journalists here arrayed to go and ask them, ask the government of Nigeria, what happened to Trisable Felony? Where are those charges today? From 2015. They have just disappeared because they have no evidence against me. So, 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 anybody committing can cannot go scot free. I swear it. They cannot go scot free. Anybody involved in any type of crime in the East cannot go free. And they are doing it because I'm, 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 I'm in DSS. That's why even I said no idiot can try this rubbish. And they know it very well. They know it very well. And I suspect that some people in government are complicit. Yes. They are making money with insecurity. That's correct. They are making money with it. They know now the candle is outside. In two minutes, this nonsense will stop. Who is the idiot? Who is the bagger? That will, that will speak when I'm talking. Who, who is the fool? Who is the idiot? I ask. That I give an order in the East and any idiot will counter it. Who is the, who is the bastard? I'm asking you. Sir, Nobody can. Sir, are you I'm on the can. Who is the idiot? No, 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 don't. Mm. No, no, no. What is it? Can you, can you, can you tell us the ongoing killings in the, the in the east in the name of uh, IPOB? What is your stand on that? Anybody involved in any form of violence or insecurity in the southeast, in the name of IPOB. Is a gun and they know it. Let me come out of this nonsense, this mess. Two minutes only. There will be peace. Only two minutes, I, I guarantee you. And tranquility. And there will be peace in the east, not just southeast. Everywhere in the east, if not the entire south. No, no, it's good. Huh? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen of the media and members of the public, I think it's very necessary that we make very clear what happened in court today. We do not want to call it a travesty of justice because of the respect we had for the judiciary, but we are utterly disappointed that today bail was refused. On what grounds? The Supreme Court on 15 December criticized very severely the revocation of Mazin Nam Dekanu's bail. In several pages, which we are going to make available to the media, at pages 19, 20, and 21 of Justice Against Judgment, he even suggested that the impartiality of the trial court in revoking the name of bail is suspect. We didn't mind all of that, but still, we made an application, a fresh application, to my Lord, urging her to exercise discretion to restore Nam de Carnos. bail. She refused it without any reason whatsoever. And then we made a second application to accentuate the need for this bail application, pointing to the enormous challenges we face as defense counsel in consulting with Nam Dekano privately and confidentially at the detention facility of the DSS headquarters in Abuja. We are only allowed 30 minutes each as counsel on only Mondays and Thursdays for a cumulative period of two hours twice a week to consult with him separately. Separate. And the federal government is feasting to have an accelerated trial. Yes, we too want an accelerated trial. But we have to have it under an environment that respects Section 36, Sub 6, B and C of the Nigerian Constitution. It's all about fair hearing. It goes to the ground norm. It goes to the basic norms of the society that you must hear the other side. And to hear the other side, he has to have an adequate facility to prepare his defense and to consult with his lawyers. Yeah. It's the constitution that said it. It's not us that said it. So we came to my Lord with an application and said, listen, it's impossible for us to conduct this trial under this atmosphere of interference with his right to counsel. They eavesdrop on our conversations in the little cubicle room of 10 by 10, where we consult with Mazin Namdekaru, they have secret listening devices. 
and secret photographic and videographic devices. They listen to our conversations secretly. They take our secret photographs. And we adduce this evidence before my Lord. They, 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 they confiscate our legal documents. They don't allow us to take notes. Pray. You may be lay men and lay women. The general public may not be lawyers, but is this fair? How can you have trial under circumstances like this? It's not possible. So we are not stalling. It is the federal government that is stalling. We can't take notes. So what is the essence of it? We cannot prepare him adequately. We cannot talk with him. We whisper. We put our lips to his ear. We talk sotto voice. And so on and so forth. So this is the essence. This is what happened in court today where justice was turned upside down when our two applications that go to fair hearing were refused. But we are going to bounce back. There are more applications to come. Are you going to appeal on this ground? Yeah, definitely. definitely we'll appeal is uh, ongoing yes. as I speak. Today, by tomorrow, appeal is filed. Okay, excuse me. Um, please, uh, in addition to that... Uh, uh, yes, uh, Uh, please. Yes. Uh, yes. In addition to that, uh, uh, we uh, what happened to, uh, today is uh, an act of federal high court overruling the decision of a Supreme Court. I want you to get it right, because the Supreme Court said, and the Calder never jumped bell, that the court ought not have revoked that bell on the application of the violator of his right. That is the federal government. You cannot benefit from your own wrong. And we, all, we, we thought that the Supreme Court would have exercised its power under Section 6 of the Constitution to make a consequential order directing that Nanakali should, uh, should be released. But they brought the, they directed that the trial should be I mean, continued here and we should make an application. Of course, we ought not have made any application. Court should have exercised his power, uh, his power discretionary and released Nanakali. That they never did. Then, secondly, which is the most uh, fundamental, I have been going there to visit Nandekalu. They never allow me to exercise my right as counsel to Nandekalu. And my right was violated. I took DSSS to Federal High Court. Federal High Court won DSSS, ordered them to apologize to me, and, uh, and ordered that they should pay me five million naira for, the, for close to two years now. They have not paid that uh, money, and though I just allow it, that's why I have not enforced it, because certain percent is running on top of it. Nobody has appealed against it. So now we filed the same application before the court. It's in the court file, asking my Lord to prove that we don't have, we are not free. We are court has even taken judicial notice of that, but all to no avail. Now the court said that we should apply, since we cannot transfer Nandekalu to, to Kujé prison, stating that there is no security at Kujé prison. So that we are now applying that now the Kalu should be detained, to be should be remanded in a, a private house, and we are suggesting Abia State Government House or Abia State Legion Office. So that is the application. So that is it. Um, okay, so that is it. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh, Tell us something. What happened today in this court is almost like an opportunity lost to bring peace, immediate peace, to the southeast. The Supreme Court had given the federal court the opportunity to bring peace to the southeast, and they lost and it. And unfortunately, they are toying with that opportunity given to them by the Supreme Court. All that the court, all that the federal court need was to go back to the ruling of the Supreme Court and follow it and give back the bill it had previously withdrawn and then you will see absolute peace in the southeast but with what happened today it's obvious that certain persons don't want that peace to return to the southeast and we are employing members of the public to please continue to interrogate the reason why the supreme court judgment of 15 december 2023 will not be complied with by a federal high court. Yes. We need a federal high court to simply obey uh, the orders of, of the superior court. Mm -hmm. A court, look, you, do not just, you did not employ the judges of the Supreme Court for the sake of employing them. Whatever order, whatever word they utter from their mouth mm -hmm. touches on something fundamental. Expressive. And in this case, in this case, in other circumstances, what is fundamental is 
Namde Kano did not jump bail. You have no Therefore, reason to have revoked his bail. Restore it. And the Federal High Court is kind of toying and playing around with it. Thereby continuing to create the chaos in the Southeast, thereby continuing to make the Federal Government waste money. Do you know how much the Federal Government is spending every day now? Because of coming, million. they told us they spend 500 million naira. Somebody is signing off that check. Somebody is Somebody signing is it off. Yes. Who is signing off? Who is making money from it? Extra allowances are being paid to all the security men who are in Abuja because of Unam Dekanu. It's your money. Wait. And we have been saying, the case of Unam Dekanu is not such that we need to spend scarce resources on. The federal government is crying about money. They don't have money, but they have all the money to pay all the security agencies. If you go outside, not less than 1,000 security agencies are on patrol in Abuja because of one single man. And tomorrow they will tell us they don't have money to pay salary of workers. <coughs> So we need them. We need them to be reasonable. We need them to do the right thing. We need them to do the proper thing. Thank you very much. Thank you.